I'm House Democratic Leader Matt Erpelding and welcome to Episode 3 of Erp Talks. Today we're going to talk about campaign finance and ethics laws in Idaho, or rather, the lack thereof. Idaho was given a D- by the Center for Public Integrity when it comes to transparency and accountability within our government. Starting in 2012 alone, House and Senate Democrats introduced over five bills that were designed to address campaign finance and ethics reform, including addressing the revolving door where legislators leave one year and return the next year as a lobbyist advocating for special interests, and a bill that would prohibit certain gifts to legislators and legislative employees. In 2013, House Democrats introduced an independent ethics commission which would investigate issues of ethical violations within our government. And in 2014, Idaho Democrats introduced a bill called Motor Voter Registration, which would allow folks getting their driver's license to register to vote at the same time if they were eligible. And in 2015, my predecessor, Representative John Rushi introduced for the first time the Office of the Inspector General, which is designed to investigate waste, fraud, and abuse inside of Idaho's government. And in 2016, former Representative Holly Woodings introduced a ballot initiative that called for sweeping changes to Idaho's campaign finance laws, but it fell short of the signature requirement thanks to a GOP-backed law that makes it nearly impossible to get citizen initiatives on the ballot. So. When the GOP leadership recently said that they've been talking about campaign finance and ethics reform for a couple of years, they were 100% accurate. If they meant that Democrats have been talking about it, and by a couple of years, if they meant for nearly a decade, then they were 100% accurate. And the fact is, if you want Idaho to improve its campaign finance and ethics laws, then you need to call your representative and your senator and tell them to get to work. Now. Do it.